This last workout on problem. A three phase generator rated 25 MeA 13.2 kV has earth to neutral. It has positive, negative, and zero sequence impedances are 30% and 40% and 5% respectively. Resistances are negligible. That is, Z1 is equal to J.3 per unit. Z2 is equal to J.4 per unit. Z0 is equal to J.05 per unit. The question is, what value of reactants must be placed in the generator neutral so that the fault current for a line to ground fault of zero fault impedance shall not exceed the rated line current. The second question is what value of resistance in neutral will serve the same purpose? That is the question. First step we have to calculate the rated current of the generator. Rating of the generator is 25 MeA, voltage is 13.2 kV, 25,000 divided by root 3 into 13.2. Rated current of the generator is 1093.47 amps. Next I have to calculate the base impedance. Base impedance is equal to base kV squared by base MeA. Here base kV is 13.2, base MeA is 25. 13.2 squared divided by 25 that is equal to 6.97 that is the base impedance. We know that in a single line to ground fault, fault current IF is equal to 3 into ER divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus Z0 plus 3 into ZF. Let ER is equal to 1 per unit, that is generated EMF per phase. Assuming the generator to be on no load, fault current IF is equal to 3 into 1 divided by J.3 plus J.4 plus J.05 plus J3 into XN. Here where Xn is the neutral grounding reactants, then we assume fault current is equal to 1 per unit. Therefore 3 is equal to modulus of J, 0.3 plus 0.4 plus 0.05 plus 3 into Xn. Simplify the equation, 3 Xn is equal to 2.25, Xn is equal to 2.25 by 3, that is equal to 0.75 per unit. The value is in per unit, Xn value is in per unit. Actual value is per unit value into base value 0.75 into base 6.97 Actual value of Xn in ohms is 5.23 The second question is If the reactance is replaced by a resistance R For the same fault current The total impedance should be the same in magnitude That is Modulus of Z1 plus Z2 plus Z0 is equal to modulus of J into X1 plus X2 plus X1. This is, this is a real imaginary term. This is a real term. 3 into Rn. Here fault current is equal to 1 per unit. We assume. Fault current IF is equal to 3 into ER divided by these 3 values. That is J.75 plus 3 into Rn. Now I can calculate 1 is equal to 3 into 3 into 1. That is 3 divided by modulus of J.75 plus 3 into Rn. I simplify the equation. That is 3 Rn is equal to 2.91. Rn is equal to 2.91 by 3. That is equal to 0.97 per unit. The resistance value is 0.97 per unit. Actual value of the resistance is per unit value into base value. 0.97 into 6.97. That is equal to 6.76 ohms. Now we substitute the value Xn is equal to 0.75 in the equation. Fault current IF is equal to 3 into ER. ER is equal to 1. 3 divided by J.3 plus J.4 plus J.05 plus 3 into J.75. So fault current is 3 by 3. That is equal to 1 per unit. Actual fault current is 1093.47 amps. Similarly, we substitute the value R that is 0.97 in this equation. Fault current is equal to 3 into ER, ER is equal to 1, 3 divided by J.75 plus 3 into 0.97. Fault current is equal to 1 per unit. Actual fault current is 1093.47 amps. This way we have to work out this problem. Thanks for listening.